Hey guys, this is Linda from Brain Education TV and today in this video I'm going to be talking about invisible modern slavery. Now you're probably wondering what does that mean? What is modern invisible slavery? Simple. It's the answer to this question. Are you a slave to your emotions? Have you ever thought about that? Being a slave to your emotions? Emotions are invisible, they're intangible, you can't hear them, you can't taste it, you can't feel it. So it's very, very easy to miss them. Many people in the modern era live as slaves to their emotions and yet they have no idea that this is happening to them. Here's how you check if you are living as a slave to your emotions. Do you find yourself changing your plans because you feel a certain type of way? For example, you're feeling sad, you're feeling tired, and you know you have a very important friend outing or a very important place to go out to or even work. You have to go out to work, you have to do something, but because you feel sad, you feel tired, you just stay inside. That is a classic case of being a slave to your emotions. Why is it being a slave to your emotions? It's because you're letting the emotions dictate your action instead of you proactively taking part of your life, instead of you taking action based on what you know is best for you, what you know is the better option, you let your emotions decide whether you stay in or you go out. You let your sadness tell you to stay in bed. You let your sadness tell you don't make the phone call. You let your sadness tell you don't go to work. It's the sadness that is affecting your behavior and actions and that is how we are living as slaves to our emotions. So emotions are definitely not bad. I'm not saying emotions are terrible and we should be monks who have no feelings or be numb to anything. That's not what I'm saying at all. But we have to switch the ratio so it's not the emotions that dictate your behavior, but your behavior that can change your emotions. For example, let's say you're feeling sad. Let's say that your boyfriend or girlfriend broke up with you and it's the worst day of your life and you feel like crap and you don't want to do anything. You've lost motivation. You feel like a totally unlovable person. You're basically down in the dumps. You're feeling really bad about yourself. You've hit rock bottom. Let's say you feel that way. Do you want to stay feeling this way? No, nobody wants to stay feeling that way. Nobody wants to mope around like this. <sighs> Nobody wants to stay feeling like this. So if we live as the master of our emotions, we don't let the sadness dictate our behavior. So this is what would look like if you were living as a slave to your emotions. You're feeling sad, but you have to take out the garbage. You have to uh, go to work. You have to clean your car. You have to do all these things, but you just Ignore all of your responsibilities and just don't do anything because you're so sad and you're moping around. If you stay sad like this, even though you don't want to stay sad, then the emotions have got a hold of your brain and they are pulling you on a tight leash. But on the opposite side, if you live as the master of your emotions, you got dumped, you're rock bottom, you're feeling sad. <sighs> but you know that you don't want to feel this way. I wouldn't want to feel that way. I hope nobody wants to stay sad like this. If you don't want to stay sad like this, then change your sadness into happiness like this. Even though you're feeling sad, you smile and start laughing. <laughs> looks like a crazy person, right? And it sounds crazy, right? It sounds crazy because most people don't think about this. People don't think about their emotions this way. But someone who has a really powerful brain is someone who is able to laugh when there's absolutely nothing to laugh about. When you can create happiness, ha 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 ha, and laugh, even though there's absolutely no reason or motivation for you to smile or laugh. It looks awkward, it sounds silly, it even makes you sound crazy, it makes you even probably feel like you're going crazy, but when you start laughing and smiling when there's no reason to be 
laughing and smiling, your brain automatically produce, starts to produce hormones of joy and happiness. It's a chemical reaction. When you smile and when you laugh, ha 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 ha, your brain literally starts making happy chemicals, painkillers, natural painkillers that combat whatever emotion you are in. So in this way, even though your emotions are pulling you to be sad, pulling you to just stay in bed, pulling you to eat chocolate and tubs of ice cream all day, you actually pull back and say, mm -mm, not today, not today emotions, I am in charge and you are pulling me to sadness, but I'm going to pull you to joy. I know it sounds easier said than done, but that's because we don't have practice in living this way. No one tells us to think about emotions this way. Everyone just says, okay, if you feel sad, just let it pass. It'll go away. But that's not really productive. Who knows? Some people stay in the sadness for weeks. Months, even years. I know people who live depressed for years and years and years. But do you want to stay like this? And that's the frustrating part. They feel sadness for years and years and they don't know how to get out of it. And they don't know that they have the power to change their emotions like this. So I encourage you to think. In my life right now, for the most part, you don't have to be perfect. I'm not telling you to be, to be perfect. For the most part in my life, do I let my emotions dictate my behavior or am I able to pull my emotions to the direction that I want? Think about it. Let me know in the comments below. So if you're in a quiet place, if you're in your house or in your room and you're by yourself and there's no one to watch you and no one to be self-conscious of, let's laugh together for just 10 seconds starting now. <laughs> How do you feel now? It feels really silly at first. I get it. It's awkward. It's weird. I get it. But your brain is producing happy chemicals without you even realizing it. So like this, when you are feeling something unfavorable within you, sadness, anger, frustration, loneliness, self-hatred, judgment, all these things that are negative inside of you, if you have the desire to change it, if you can recognize something inside that says, you know what, I don't want to live like this, I don't want to stay like this, then know that you have the power to choose the other emotion, the opposite emotion, act out the opposite emotion, and your body will start to feel that way. If you're sad, laugh and smile. Your brain will produce chemicals of laughing, joy, and happiness. This is scientific. This is something that happens to every single person, regardless of gender, regardless of nationality, regardless of how much money you have, regardless of your background, it doesn't matter. It's a chemical reaction that is guaranteed to work. Try this exercise and let me know in the comments below how it went. Share this with other people who need to hear this message, especially if you have friends who are constantly feeling sad, constantly feeling depressed, and they don't know how to get out. The only thing that's stopping you from going to the other side is your judging of yourself that says that's weird that's not cool that's not for me that doesn't work your judgment is what blocks you from going to the other side so stop your judgment get rid of that obstacle and just do the right thing even though it's awkward which is smiling laughing producing joy and happiness it's okay you have emotions. I'm not saying to get rid of your emotions. Emotions are a beautiful, beautiful thing, but don't stay in unfavorable emotions for a long time because then your emotions will take a hold of your brain and control your life rather than you taking hold of the reins of your life and controlling your emotions. Which one do you wanna be? A slave to your emotions? Letting your emotions dictate your every move or the master of your emotions. Your emotions are whispering in your ear like a mosquito in your ear, but you're able to swat it away 
and live your life the way you want. Which one do you choose? Thanks for tuning in, everyone. I'll see you in another video. Bye.